Hey, hey there everybody, how you doing? It's me, your boy. Today, it's vibe setting time. Here's the vibe, the setting. It's a cold January night. It's snowing outside, like, like it's snowing like, like a lot. It's like pretty cold, definitely wouldn't want to be out there. You're at your computer, you're playing Minecraft right now. In the background, softly, Frank Ocean's critically acclaimed masterpiece of an album from 2016, Blonde is playing. Knights just played, the beat switch just happened. You finally have finished gathering all of your materials, and oh boy, oh boy, yes, that's right. It's finally Told Farm time. Oh yes, big day, big day, that's right. We're finally building a farm for the absolute garbage of an ore gold, and then we can actually use this garbage. Give it to like the piglins and some sort of bartering farm that maybe we'll set up very very soon and have tons and tons of crying obsidian. So much crying obsidian that I could literally cry or build with it. Like both of it. It's going to be amazing. Warning, this project, it's a long project. Be ready for like a lot of work. Today's video might be a little bit longer if you enjoy it. Still, smash that like button. Absolutely remove it. Let's talk materials for the gold farm. Ah, first things first. We've been talking about this for a while. Maybe you caught on magma blocks for this gold farm in minecraft 1.16 and up we're actually in 1.16.4 you will need a lot of magma blocks how many well right here check this we have one shulker box full another one full you're gonna need a lot yeah that's crazy but that's not all you need even more materials you will need one shulker box full or one chest full of slabs or other non-spawnable blocks so leaves glass yeah that would work too slabs are the easiest though today we're going to use crimson slabs i think that'll look really really good right here i have three full stacks of crimson stem and then another half stack one stack of crimson stems will turn into four stacks of crimson planks which will turn into eight stacks of crimson slabs times three and a half that should probably be good these are other temporary building blocks like building slabs i don't want to lose the crimson stems so i don't have like a lot of them so extra slabs right there and then a couple more extra slabs for design things we have sand for glass you don't necessarily need glass we're going to bring it again for design and then over here just extra building blocks in general we're going to need a way to get up to this gold farm it's going to be above the nether so get on top of the nether and then get either like a bunch of ladders or a bunch of scaffolding scaffolding is the move today finally in non-exact amounts kind of like everything else chest top a rail and a minecart with a hopper in it you'll also want to have access to things like buttons so you can block spawns even more yeah a double chest full or two chest full of magma blocks a chest full of slabs extra building blocks scaffolding and then these things right here you are going to need a lot for this farm the materials are not exactly expensive they're cheap things you could farm magma blocks actually from a magma cube spawn or you can find them pretty easily it's just tedious you need like a lot of these things once you've gathered everything it's time to head over to the nether and get up on top of the nether oh boy the nether hub the nether hub been a couple episodes back we built this extension right here it needs work but it works and then right here we have a ladder that goes up to the top of the nether exactly where we need to be today kind of this is a start so first things first we're going to need our scaffolding or ladders and building blocks whatever we need to go really really high up right now we're at y128 that's where the roof of the nether is by the way this farm is only going to work on java edition i'm sorry better at gamers so once you're on top of the nether find the nether waste biome conveniently right here we're in the nether waste biome this is going to be perfect this gold farm needs to be built in the nether waste biome otherwise it will not work or uh not work as good which is a problem so find the nether waste biome make sure this nether waste biome is at least a little bit big we're talking like 30 or so blocks in every direction from the center so if this were the center nether waste needs to go at least 30 blocks this way that way that way that way which i pretty i'm pretty sure it, it does this should be perfect right here all right just checked yes yeah, so this block right here is gonna be more than good enough in every single direction we're good so we're building this in the nether waste biome because in the nether waste biome zombified piglin can spawn zombified piglin are what we're farming today this is a gold farm we're building the gold farm for of course lots of gold once this thing is set up and running we'll have so much gold like way more gold than we would ever need we will also have a ton of experience this thing is an absolute beast when it comes to getting experience another reason why i love this farm i'm thinking that we could maybe set this thing up and then set up like an enchanting setup near it and finally finally be able to get unbreaking three on our elytra which is going to be amazing 
Anyways though, find the center of your farm in the nether waste biome and then start towering up all the way up to the world height build limit. That's going to be Y256. I did it with scaffolding by just standing here, placing it while I was talking. It's perfect. Then you need to climb all the way up this thing. Now, why are we building it so high up? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We're building it so high up to control spawns. If we built this thing like down in the nether, we would have to go and slab everything. It would be really, really annoying and tedious. We'd have to remove all other spawns. If we go up here, like way, way high up, then actually mobs won't spawn in the lower nether. We're too far away from this. That means spawns will be concentrated up here in the farm and the farm rates, who they will be A1 spicy. They will be good rates. So go really high up and you'll have amazing rates basically. Also be really, really careful I am thinking about this now I probably definitely <laughs> absolutely should be wearing my elytra and I'm not yeah I might have to go back down and get that soon anyways though once you're at the top grab a building block and build off of the scaffolding this part is a little nerve-wracking we're gonna move off of the scaffolding like like that right there temporary building block right there then right on top of that building block you can place your shulker box or oh that's gonna be a problem all right uh do over we remove that we place this right here because i need my building blocks out of this box i completely forgot about that so we're gonna grab our temporary slabs right now that's all that we actually need and then we're gonna grab these crimson stems as well temporary slabs are the big one though now shulker box come back with me there we go and then temporary block right back right there again we are at y256 right now now this is going to be the center of the farm the center of the farm will actually be a couple blocks lower though but we're gonna start up here first things first we need to stop gas from spawning gas spawning it's kind of weird for a gas to spawn you'll need a solid block so something like what i'm standing on right now and then a five by four by five block free space above that block gas can actually spawn above the world height limit too so this block right here if i were far enough away from it would technically be a spawnable block which is definitely not good we don't want gas spawning up here shooting at us blowing the farm up so this right here is a spawnable block but this half slab right there that's not a spawnable block because mobs can't spawn on lower half slabs mobs also can't spawn on things like glass and leaves so those things would work too find the center block of your farm so build one block off of the scaffolding in any direction then place a slab coming off of that block just one uh but actually not you're gonna want to place uh, after that 23 more slabs we need to build an outer ring around this farm that will cover all of the magma blocks so ghasts never spawn so here we have the center then we have one two three four five 23 and 24 right there that's the edge of this farm back over here at the center though where we started we have to remember that this is a spawnable block now we can't place anything on top of it because we're at the world height build limit but this is what we can do take it out place a button right there that's still the center and gas won't spawn on this thing while we're working on the outer ring so uh, mobs in Minecraft can spawn more than 24 blocks away from us. To get the zombified piglins to spawn, basically we're going to create gigantic rings that are 24 blocks away from the center of the farm, where we'll stand to use this thing. With the rings that we're about to build, built out here out of magma blocks eventually, the zombified piglin will be able to continually spawn in the center, and then they'll run over to us and try and get us. But of course, they won't be able to. But first, we block gas spawns. So, build 24 blocks out from that center. On your 25th block place the real block all of these slabs are temporary blocks then from this real block I pick a side either the left or the right we'll go this way first go one two three four five six and then seven right there that's seven blocks temporary block right there diagonally in then we're gonna go two so one two like that then temporary block and then we're gonna go one and then two and then uh, another temporary block and then one and two it's counting with waddles today gamers and then finally one more temporary block one two but actually that's not the last temporary block temporary block right here one temporary block right here one and then that's actually going to be it this is going to be the middle block right here so we have one one two 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 and then seven right here the seven does not count this one right there this is the first center block and then the second center block is going to be over there never count the centers basically we're creating a gigantic ring so uh from this center right here this is what we're going to do uh we're going to go temporary block and then this will be the first one then another temporary block and then the second one and then we switch over to twos 
So there we go, four twos, and then finally, after our twos, we're going to go one section of seven. And then, after that section of seven, one more block, which is gonna be the center, and that should line up perfectly with your middle block. And I think the center does, so that means our dimensions are perfect. All we need to do is continue this circle all the way around the edge. Oh, and uh, don't forget, this is very important. This one shouldn't be built out of magma blocks. It needs to be built out of non-spawnable blocks. So glass leaves, half slabs, half slabs are probably the easiest way to go. But really, anything that mobs can't spawn on is perfect. Now, by the way, if you're curious, I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial on this build. If you're not looking for like a guide episode on it, the step-by-step -step tutorial, it's probably a little bit more quicker. It's not necessarily as good though, but probably a little bit quicker. I'll go ahead and leave that video on the end card today. It is the same exact farm though. It's not going to look as good though. Now, if all of your measurements are correct, once you reach that final stretch on the final side of the circle, everything should link up perfectly just like that which means the measurements are perfect here the inner ring of the anti-gas circle it's done now I, I actually need to come back over here to the center to grab more materials but i'm actually kind of impressed with what i just did i think i had one mistake in that entire ring which honestly isn't bad Th that's not bad like at all i'm usually not very good at counting in minecraft like i don't know what it is but inner circle done and now it's time for the outer ring of this circle from the center spot the same spot where we started this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go one two three four and then this fifth one is going to be the outer ring of this circle the outer ring though is not gonna have the exact same measurements we're gonna start the same though so right here we have one then we're gonna go one two three four five six and then seven again never count the center so that one doesn't count so seven blocks out from that center then we're gonna go temporary block and then this time we're gonna switch it up one two three just like that then temporary block and then another section of three just like that after the two threes we're gonna reverse that and, and go three twos so one section of two another section of two just like that and then finally one more section of two then after our three twos to finish everything off we're going to go two one so there's one and then here's another one and then finally the center which is going to be this block right here now we can double check this by building a diagonal line of blocks towards the inside if the diagonal meets up with the perfect center spot uh then we're good which is going to be right there we should have two ones two ones which is perfect this is the center which means that this wraps around perfectly and links up in the exact same spot that's exactly what we want now we need to do it again so we start with a one then we have another one after the ones we go uh two just like that then we go two again and then after i finish this two i'm going to go two one more time after the three twos comes two threes so here's a three and here is another three and then finally after those two threes we go one section of seven and then the center now when building this outer ring i like to link up every single center just to make sure everything is on track so right here this would have been the center i put cobblestone to market and we still do link up which is perfect so far so good now just like with the inner circle continue that all the way around the circle and get the outer ring in now when you're placing your temporary blocks a little little life hack for you you technically don't need to use just some random block you could be using actually the same slabs that, that you're building this thing out of as your temporary blocks and, and in all honesty that might be a little bit easier because uh, after we finish the outer rings here which i should be about to do then uh, you're gonna come back in and actually fill the entire center of this platform in with uh, again non-spawnable blocks whatever non-spawnable blocks you want am i gonna link up oh i link up perfectly though there we go so i've measured every single center and it all links up now uh, like i said it's fill in time so i'm gonna come back in with a ton of crimson slabs no more warp slabs and fill every single thing in i wanted to mark the centers on every side with the warp slabs because i think that looks pretty cool and then all of these temporary blocks the the cobblestone ones those can go we definitely want this gold farm today to look like super nethery and cool and i felt that this was like the perfect project to get to use the brand new wood types that we just set up a farm for uh, relatively recently you see why we did it mm -hmm. it all makes sense now but 
Uh, yeah, now I have a lot more slab placing to do. The whole center uh, of both of these rings needs to be filled in all the way. And then, good news, after we finish filling this thing in all the way, uh, well, there's a lot more building, but the hardest step will basically be done. Honestly, at this point, it's kind of done already. The measurement step, the, the whole outlining the circle, everything like that, blocking the gas spawns, it's done. It's basically done. Gas will be able to spawn in the center uh, if you do things wrong, but for the most part, the gas spawning is now eliminated, which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to place a bunch of slabs. I'll be right back. I'll let you know how it goes. Here it is. Here it is. The big moment. Finally. Slab right there. Slab right there. And boom. We are done with this entire platform. And check this out. Look at how many extra slabs I have. And then a whole nother sack of crimson stems. I am definitely big excited about that one. I like that. More crimson stems, better. Then we could use them in like other builds or maybe even setting up like a base around this gold farm, which is something that we're going to do very, very soon. But after finishing that first ring, that top layer, you are actually going to be gas proof in this farm uh, again for the most part there will be some spots in the center that we'll have to manually block spawns on with things like buttons but we're pretty much good gas won't spawn in the farm which means it's time to actually set up the farm for zombified piglins so this farm remember is powered by zombified piglins that's what we're farming for gold because of the drops zombified piglins drop a lot of gold now, uh, right now, we're pretty good, but we need spawning platforms. The spawning platforms will actually go down below this area right here. So, here's what we're going to do. First things first, we're actually going to take that back and take that out. Then, we're going to replace this with a temporary block. We'll just remember that that's the center. After that, we're actually going to climb back down the scaffolding, remove this one for now, remove that one, and remove this one right here. Then, we're going to move off of the side of this block and place a building block. So, right over here all right right there terrifying but right there so now we're two blocks below this thing like just enough space for us to move around comfortably uh, not really comfortably but move around now this time we're gonna build out 24 blocks so right here one then two three and 24 the 25th one magma block this magma block should be directly below the ceiling that you just set up so the slab right there this lines up perfectly which means my center measurement is perfect now uh, to be clear this building block should be directly below where the center block is that you placed earlier on that you removed or, or didn't you know that one right there so there we go now we're gonna do the same exact thing actually we're gonna go remove that remove that and 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 one more and then we're gonna move off of the side of this thing carefully place the building block just like that uh, two blocks below this one and then uh, same thing slabs 24 25th one magma block that should be 24 and then 25 right there perfect right below that one after finishing the second layer we're actually going to go ahead and do that one more time so back to the center remove the scaffolding remove the scaffolding remove the scaffolding three times move off of this block uh, very very carefully this always makes me so nervous is, is there a better way to do this uh honestly probably not we, we need to move off of this block like like that and place that block right there two below and then same exact thing 24 and then finally 25 right there oh yes now it's gigantic platform time so you can go back to the center and replace your scaffolding now we'll go ahead and build this all the way up to the top of the farm mm, yep definitely know how to play scaffolding don't worry about it yep we can go right back up now and then i think i'm actually going to start by building this platform right here the top one and we'll work our way down now this platform is going to be built entirely out of magma blocks and the dimensions are going to be identical to what we just created this platform should stay underneath the top one now why magma blocks well it's actually simple it is really really simple we want to control spawns in this farm on magma blocks zombified piglins can spawn but normal piglins can't spawn so if we build this farm entirely out of magma blocks like we're doing today, then all of the zombified piglin will spawn up here, but normal piglin won't. And of course, because of the small space, all other mobs actually won't be able to spawn up here too. So basically, we'll only get zombified piglin spawns, which means this farm should be crazy 
crazy efficient. Something that I love the sounds of. Now, a little tip for setting this farm up, the magma block layers. I highly, highly recommend setting up the borders first and then coming back in and filling everything in. It just seems to be a little bit more efficient and a little bit easier like that. Also, make sure you're checking almost constantly uh, to make sure that you are still indeed underneath the platform. Because if you're not under it and you place blocks like on the outside, not covered by these slabs, gas could spawn. And then if they spawn, they could shoot at you and then gas can ruin absolutely destroy magma blocks which is not good if you're like me you probably don't want to go back and have to dig up more magma blocks would not be fun so uh, at this point it's literally it you can actually make as many layers as you'd like if you wanted to you could do like like four layers or five layers but three should be perfect three is kind of a good amount as you start working on this thing and you start getting farther away from other magma blocks zombified piglins might start spawning which is actually fine be careful with these blocks. If you build these out of like normal slabs like this, normal piglins could spawn, which could definitely be a problem. What I might do is go back in here and actually remove those to make it a little bit safer. I'm not too sure. But anyways, you should have two blocks of space in between every single layer. The entire floor should be underneath all of the slabs and it should be the exact same shape, the same measurements as before on every single layer. You want to fill this in entirely with magma blocks and to me, this sounds like the perfect spot for a time lapse. This is a lot of work. This is gonna take you a lot of time. It's not that hard, it's just grindy. Also, remember to crouch on the magma blocks, you won't take any damage. It's definitely a nice life hack, but yeah, that's right. I, I think it's time lapse time, and today I have a fun uh, little game. So before the time lapse, I went on my Instagram story at it is Waddles. Definitely drop a follow over there and ask for your assumptions about me. I got a lot of replies. Some of them good, some of them bad. Definitely, definitely bad. bad. During the time lapse today, I figured that's what we'd talk about. So less talky, more building, more time lapsey. All right, all right, all right. It's time lapse time and assumption time. So this was really, really fun. I, I wanted to start by saying thank you if you went into, to the Instagram story and replied any assumption. Uh, looking through them was really, really interesting. So I wanted to start with, I guess, what was the most common one, surprisingly. I really didn't think this was like an assumption because I feel like I've talked about it like at least a little bit, but my age. Uh, a lot of people were taking guesses at my age. I saw some crazy guesses, like like some young ones, like, like 12 and stuff. And then some like crazy high ones. Like, I don't even know where you got this number, but like 60. The age, it's 24. My birthday is December 23rd, so I just turned 24. I don't know if it's really an assumption, but a lot of people said age guesses, so I figured I'd start here. I also saw a lot of people assuming that I have a beard too, and I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. I don't have a beard. I wish I did though, but no beard. A side note, there might have been some confusion about that because of my old skin. It, it like looked like a beard, but the whole mask thing, it was actually always a thing. The old one just didn't look very good. Plant that. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, I have like uh, probably like seven plants sitting behind me, watching me. Okay, maybe not watching me, but seven plants sitting behind me right now, like in the same room that I record. I love plants and I'm trying to get into them like even more. I feel like they just add to the aesthetics. Assumption, I like cats more than dogs. Wrong, technically wrong. I think I like dogs more, for sure. But at the same time, cats are adorable and wonderful. I like both, but dogs a little bit more. Hot take warning, you really like tacos. So tacos are good. I, I like tacos, but I wouldn't say that I really like tacos. If I had to rate it on a number scale, one to 10, I put maybe, I don't know, they're like a six. They're, they're, they're okay. We got a really big brain assumption coming up here. It's actually wrong though, so it's actually a tiny brain assumption. The assumption, you play Minecraft. Nope, never played it, don't even know what it is. I was offended by this one. Assumption, I hate cranberries, how dare you? No, 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 cranberries are amazing. And if you hate cranberries, you're crazy. Cranberries are amazing. Next, assumption, you went to college. Well, technically true, technically true. I tried. <laughs> this one spooked me uh, a, a little bit. Uh, you are bad at spelling. Yeah, I'm actually terrible at spelling. Like, really, really bad. Uh, like, math, I, I mean, it's okay. It's math. History, oh, that's my stuff. It's, it's storytelling. But, but spelling, don't even come at me with spelling. No. There were a couple assumptions that I have a kid. But no, there, there is no secret child. I, I'm, I'm not, not hiding, hiding a, a child. child. I have three pets. 
but no children and definitely not anytime soon no way this next one it's about one of my favorite things so the assumption you have a lot of shoes and yeah, at first I was like, whoa, how did you know that? But then again, I, I thought about it, and I've alluded to it before, but yes, I definitely am into shoes. I'm 100% a shoe person. Lately, I've been into those Jordan highs oh, all the way. The, the mids are okay, too, but the highs, the Jordan highs, I slept on them for way too long. I saw a couple of people assuming that I have a piercing, and that's actually, you're actually, this is pretty spot on. My nose is pierced and my ear, but I lost my earring, so maybe it's not pierced anymore. Next assumption is actually about video and content creation. You read a script. So actually, no, I, I don't write a script. I don't really like scripts because I, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like right, like natural. I actually wing it and I feel like lately I've been getting better at winging it. I do, however, write some bullet points. So like I'm working on today's farm. I, I wrote down some notes, like each step, like what to do, you know, step by step, but definitely not a script. I, I would never be able to do the script and like like play the game and everything at the same time it would be like impossible for me wouldn't be able to handle it you don't play any other games but minecraft pretty much actually lately that's not really the case so minecraft is definitely easily the number one game i played the most but cyberpunk 2077 that's good that's good it's fun there's some bugs but it's fun i played on pc i've also been into actually strangely enough the newest Call of Duty lately. For for years, I was just like kind of fell off with Call of Duty. Didn't really like it. I, I used to love it, like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I didn't play it for a while, but I've been playing it lately and I've been having a lot of fun. Um, I think I've seen enough for today. We're gonna leave it with this one right here. Uh Assumption. Y you tuck your sweatpants into your socks. No. No. Just eh. No, that hurts my head. No. Who does that? What? No. Okay. I've seen enough. Thanks. Uh, goodbye. One hour later, and check it. We have a gold farm set up, and I would say about 75% of the way done. Lots and lots of blocks have been placed. So many. But now, oh, now it is finally done. So after you place all of your layers, go ahead and remove the temporary blocks connecting these layers and the roof uh, to the center. We actually don't need these blocks on the top anymore, on the third floor or the second floor. We'll leave the first floor for now though. And actually the center block too, we can just go ahead and get rid of that and take the scaffolding down a little bit. We actually won't ever need all the way back up again. So yeah, this all took a while, but really it wasn't that bad. The time kind of flew by. I did the outlines first and then I came back after and filled in the centers and yeah, it really wasn't bad at all. One big tip though that I have for you, always link up the center of the flat sides just to make sure everything is correct. I think I had like one mess up again. So two total in the whole build today, which really isn't bad at all. Linking the center flat sides up to like you know the outside to the inside and then making sure they line up above definitely helped though for sure so remove all of the connecting walkways except the bottom one we're gonna change the bottom one in a second but for now it can actually stay after you remove those walkways get back to the center so center right here now building block time just like with pretty much all of the other steps on today's build this step should be done with non-spawnable blocks again now, uh, what's the best looking non-spawnable nethery block? Smooth quartz slabs. Oh, yes. We're going to use smooth quartz on this build. I think that will make the center area look really, really good. So, uh, remember, this is the middle block. We're actually going to remove this button for now, place a temporary block right there, and then place a slab coming off of that temporary block. Then we can go ahead and remove that. So, this is the center of the farm. Right now, we're standing on a Y247 and a half. So, middle of the farm. We're gonna go one, two, three, just like that. Then we're actually gonna place this back. I kinda need that. And then we're gonna go three. One, two, three. On the other side, one, two, three. And then coming off of this right here, we're actually gonna build this way so we can reach over here. This scaffolding is one, so this is gonna be two, and then that's gonna be three. Then we're gonna go ahead and make sure everything around this thing is thicker. So we're gonna make these sides that we just built out three blocks thick, just like this. Right now, we're building the center sanding, grinding, farming area. So, to finish this off, we'll place a block right here, a block right here, a block over here, right, right there. I've been placing way too many blocks today. And then finally, to finish everything off, a block right there. 
we just created a circle. This temporary block can now go away. So circle check. Now we need to make sure the circle is a little bit safer. Place a temporary block on one of the edges and then grab another slab type. So for me, we'll go with crimson. That'll match the outside of the build. Place it down just like this on another half slab block. So if we were to jump up here, we would now be on Y 248 and a half. These slabs that we're placing down in this step will actually keep all of the angry piglins out of this area right here. We definitely, absolutely wouldn't want the angry piglins to pour into here because piglins are actually pretty strong. Even if you have netherite armor, they're strong. You don't want to mess with them. You definitely want to keep things safe. Now, even if you built this platform out of like solid blocks, like maybe glass or something, still do it on the same layer. You don't need to raise anything up. All of the measurements will still work perfectly. So do these slabs all the way around this thing other than on one side. What side? It, it really doesn't matter. But for me, I think I'm going to do this side right here. We're going to leave this side open because this is where we're going to set up some sort of grinding area for the piglins. So we're actually just about almost done here. Now we need to set up the grinding area itself. So right here, this is on Y247. We actually need to move this down one block. So we'll take that out and place the permanent block right down there. It doesn't have to be a half slab. You can just place it on the solid block just like this. So Y246, that's perfect. Now we'll actually break this out and this and this and then actually build over and you know what i think i want to make things even fancier these blocks should definitely be cool so uh we'll swap this block right here out for a chiseled quartz block then we have a block of space temporary block right there and then a permanent block right there chiseled quartz again now we can go ahead and remove that and put that freeze right there that slab that i just placed in the middle of the screen you want to double that up. Put another slab on the bottom side of that slab. If you don't do that, baby zombified piglins will be able to spill out into your farm, which is going to be a huge problem. It needs to be a slab so you can still get the experience. It's a mistake that I realized later on. We'll fix it in the next episode. Back right there so we can't fall out. This is where all of the piglins will be funneled onto. Down below that block, we'll set up a collection system. But right now, all we need to worry about is the funnel. So we want to hold the piglins in this block. I think it would probably be pretty cool to have glass all around this block this time. So we'll do actually glass right there and glass right there and then glass over here and glass right there. Now on the front side, we'll actually leave this slab here and on the back side, we'll remove that slab. This block can go away too. That was a temporary block. Now all we need to do is make sure this block is an actual trap, which is actually really easy to do from here. We'll remove that block and place a solid block right there. Then on the back side of this, a staircase right there. The piglins will walk right up the staircase and drop down into here and be trapped. All we need to do is place the top cap of this area on it. So what we're going to do to do that, slab right here, slab right here, slab right on the front. Then over here on the sides, because this area is technically climbable, we're going to build up with building blocks. So uh, we'll go ahead and place a bunch of slabs down just like that. And we're going to end on a top half slab, just like that right there. To make this a little bit safer, we'll actually place another slab right here and another slab right there. But we could definitely make it look a little bit better. So we'll pull those slabs back out and actually come back in with staircases. Staircases are always on point looking. So check this out. Staircase right there, staircase right there. And then actually in front of this, we'll swap this for some smooth slabs just like that so that's what we're going to end up with the piglins that fall inside of this area right here now won't be able to go anywhere and they actually won't be able to hurt us too which is perfect now all we need to do is create a way for the piglins to spawn on the platforms to actually get over to us and that way the creation of that thing is so so simple so we have this temporary walkway in right now what we're going to actually do is move back over to the side and remove it or you could leave it if you wanted to this pathway should be built out of non-spawnable blocks you don't want mobs spawning on this pathway. So I think to, to make things look a little bit more cool, we'll use glass. Now, I was highly considering dyeing this glass. Imagine this glass, but like black stained glass. That would definitely look pretty cool. But at the same time, the nether is dark and the center is going to have lots of quartz. So I think clear plain glass might actually look best here. What we're going to do with this walkway is actually connect it all the way up to where we placed the staircases or... I guess I should say staircase. We only place one. We're going to end this walkway right here at this block. Now, if you're doing this all out of slabs, what you're going to need to do is actually place another staircase in here. If you're using solid blocks, the piglins will be able to walk right up and fall right in already. That'll be perfect. So uh, there we go. One side done. Now the piglins can walk from this area over to there. On the higher floors, they'll actually just jump right off of this thing because they're so angry and pathfind over here. But we have three other sides. We want this thing to be efficient. So what we're going to want to do is create a circular platform in this area over here. So here's how we'll do that. We'll go one, two, three. And on that third block, we'll place a block 
a block and a block then we'll go diagonally in place a block right there and then if you check it out we're actually lined up with the center right now remember that block is the center block so that means a uh, block right here and then we basically turn this thing go three blocks over this will be the fourth block and then we'll be able to go right to the center again one block over will be the middle right there you see that lines up that's perfect We'll actually do that on every single side of this platform, so the piglins can pathfind right over to the center area nice and easily. Once they make it to the center, they'll pathfind right around it and fall into that area, because when we're standing on that block, that block right there will be the closest block. The piglins are pretty small brain. They'll think that they can get us, but they actually can't get us. They'll stand on the block, and then we'll be able to take them out, or actually, the piglins will take each other out because of entity cramming. There'll be so many piglins in this thing that it'll just run on its own. When you're filling this area in, you done uh freeze number two mistake 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 i realized the baby zombified piglins were spilling down into this farm too and that's because i skipped these blocks do not skip these blocks fill these in or uh, baby zombified piglins will spill down into the lower area of this farm not good you might want a way in if you're over here right now you'd have to climb the staircase jump over it would be kind of tedious here's how you make an easy way in for yourself find the center of one of the bridges that reaches over to the spawning platforms place a block right here a slab a non-spawnable block right there this should be on y 247 and a half then from that block right there you'll be able to easily jump back into the center safe area had to go back to the overworld because of course that would be three blocks of glass shore but there we go so i have pathways connecting to the center on every single side and then i decided to get a little creative here a little fancy and put some light in here because uh it, it was kind of dark i'm thinking that we'll also probably work some light into this platform maybe like this this is what i was thinking like like a shroom light uh well you know what you know what no 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 no. it could still work it could still work watch this cobblestone slab right there shroom light and, and we'll get down below it and fix it in a second then um where's the same spot oh wait <laughs> okay we'll do the lighting later anyways with this whole area set up all of the ways in the platform set up everything's good all we need to do is really create an item collection area so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna move down below this thing now grab a building block uh maybe we'll go like this far this should probably be good move off of the side of this thing again i hate this i hate, I hate this. this we're gonna place a block just like that and then we're gonna grab slabs for now we'll use crimson slabs what are we on right now 239 let's actually go ahead and go down one more the height of this layer it does not matter at all same with the size of this layer all we're doing right now is setting up a room down below this thing that we can go down to to get all of the items that come from this farm all of the gold now uh today uh we're not gonna do too much to this gold farm we built the whole farm i feel like that's probably enough of an accomplishment for today's episode next episode maybe uh we'll come back and actually expand onto the gold farm and make a base here see this time what i'd like to do is create a base room like where we're walking around right now probably under this whole platform and then in this room we'll have things like an enchanting setup a better storage system you know all of that kind of all of that good stuff but today all we're going to do is set up the item collection area so build a platform down underneath this thing could be right underneath it could be a little ways down like i did after setting up your platform you're going to need a couple things including a rail a minecart with a hopper in it a hopper and some chests you will probably want to get more than one hopper we'll start with just one though it'll be fine go underneath your build and work your way over to the block that is going to be right underneath where the piglins will sit so that's going to be this block right here this block instead of being a sand block should actually be a hopper this hopper needs to go into a chest so we'll jump down off of that we'll place a chest right there for now we'll probably move that later but it works for now we'll remove that sand block we'll grab a hopper and have the hopper going into that chest right there then we go back up here and on top of that hopper we need to actually place a rail so a rail right there perfect and then right on top of that rail a minecart with a hopper in it this is going to pick up all of the items and move the items down into this hopper and then this hopper will put all of the items into this chest this is where we should start stringing more hoppers so today let's go with maybe two more hoppers and two more double chests that'll do it won't be enough but but it'll do it'll be a start we'll definitely be coming back onto this thing and adding more chests later so uh let's go ahead and put a double chest right here we'll string them down just like this and then a hopper right there and then finally the last double chest today right there so there we go that's our item collection and storage system definitely needs to be bigger but for today it works now 
all that's left is I think uh, actually using this farm I'm pretty sure we finished just about everything today which is kind of crazy to be honest and now I would like to make a base over here that means we're gonna want like an ender chest a stone cutter a furnace a crafting table you know all of that type of stuff but today we're, we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna have it here and we'll add it in later now before we use this farm time for the comment of the day today's comment of the day is about editing Waddles, what platform do you use to edit your videos? So, for editing, I use Sony Vegas, I, I think it's Sony Vegas 16. I'm not sure, I got it from the Humble Bundle store, like probably a year and a half or maybe even two years ago now. I got it for like $16, something crazy like that. It was on sale. Before that, I definitely, absolutely used a legit version of it. Yep, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sony Vegas is a little old school, like it could be better. But I might switch soon, but it definitely works. And I know how to use it like pretty well at this point. So Sony Vegas, I highly recommend it, but uh, look for like a deal or something like that. Uh, it's kind of expensive. So to use the farm, what we're gonna wanna do, if everything is finished, and I'm pretty sure everything is, is grab a bow. And then we're gonna wanna hit one of the piglins. Now this bow shouldn't one shot the piglin. I, I hope, it, if it does, we would have a problem. So, shoot the piglins, and then if everything is safe and, and built correctly, they'll charge over to you, just like this, but they actually won't be able to get to you. Now, we're right here, this is a big problem. We want them over here, so to do that, stand on this block right here and check it. They're gonna funnel over here, and then, it's gonna get really loud and so what we're gonna do is preemptively turn the sound down hostile creatures we're gonna turn that all the way down check this out so they're gonna funnel into there and then they're gonna start going away and and that's because of entity cramming yep uh entity cramming is taking care of these piglins for us all we need to do is keep standing here and more piglins will spawn and they're gonna charge over to us in the center we could stand here with our mending equipment so like you know the armor the pickaxe like pretty much every single tour yeah, we do we just stand here and um, yeah everything's gonna get fixed I like that on its own we don't even have to do a single thing but Let's say I wanted to do something. Well, here we have our Looting 3 Sword. Oh, and by the way, check it, we're already getting loot. But Looting 3 Sword, swing at the piglins every once in a while, just like this, and we'll clear them out even faster. And the experience is gonna go crazy. This is gonna be a beast of a machine for experience and, of course, gold. So, we've taken out a lot of piglins. We'll move down below this thing. Oh, no, we have children. We have children. Huh? How did you get down here? Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Where are the children coming from? <laughs> I've never seen that before. We're gonna need to find that next episode. Well, that was interesting. We're definitely gonna need to figure out how to fix that one in the next episode. I feel like maybe they fell through like a crack somewhere or something. That's strange. Definitely, absolutely could get dangerous. But check this out right here. Loot. It is already filling up. And that's from like doing almost nothing now keep in mind we can disenchant all of the enchanted swords here for more experience and then we can actually smelt these golden swords down into ingots which then we can turn into nuggets which is definitely the way to go for sure oh so much experience i love it now also remember this block right here is a spawnable block so putting a button on it might be a pretty good idea something to keep spawns from happening maybe a trap door or something just block the spawns on the block now one other thing that you might want to consider changing about the farm before you use it for too long uh, this spot right here could potentially, in theory, get a little bit dangerous. Sometimes, a piglin might be able to glitch its way up. So to stop that from happening, an extra slab right there should do the trick. Now the piglins should have no chance at all to glitch their way up. In my opinion, though, floating slab right there, it's not going to look too good. So this is what we'll do. We'll do another slab right there, another one right there, and then on the other side, we'll do another one. And actually, what we'll do is we'll just remove the corners. I feel like that looks a little bit better. We have a staircase right there. It looks fully complete and finished. And so, though, there we go. The gold farm, that's how it's done, at least. It's that simple. We'll investigate that baby zombie piglin problem next episode, but for this episode, that is going to do it. If you enjoyed today's episode, do me a huge favor. Smash like, subscribe if you haven't yet. My name is Waddles. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, stay gold, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Goodbye, everyone.